Why is everybody angry? I mean, why is everybody mad? Everybody just seems to be mad. I mean, a mad world. Everybody wants to fight. Everybody's looking at their phone. And when they get a message, like, I can't be over there tonight, babe. And it's been going on for three straight days. I mean, people get frustrated with their spouse or their mate. I mean, people are fed up. They're tired. They're frustrated. The love for that other person just isn't there anymore. I mean, and the other person see it. I mean, everybody's mad. Everybody's frustrated. They're tearing up assignments they have to do. I mean, the husband's picking on the wife. The wife is sick of them. I mean, this COVID-19 and all the things going on in this world have got everybody angry. I mean, the guy came to sit here and just have a nice lunch and do his work from his job. I mean, his woman's sitting there vacuuming over his feet. I mean, people are just frustrated. They're tired. So that's where the arguments come. Everybody's kicking a vacuum cleaner. I mean, everybody's mad. Mad at what's going on in society. I mean, from Dr. Fauci telling you that this is never going to end, to Trump giving you one stimulus check for the whole year. I mean, people can't pay their rent. I mean, it's like you're boxing 15 rounds and, and you're just swinging, but you're coming up with nothing. You can't knock the person out. I mean, it's that bad. I mean, you can't even smoke a joint and enjoy it. I mean, you smoke a joint, you worry about the next person next to you getting all upset. I mean, it's like you have no freedom. You're a slave. I mean, you're caught up at home. You can't do nothing. Then when you try to relax, I mean, you get penalized for it. I mean, this is not what life's all about. I mean, we're supposed to be enjoying our lives. And you look up, we're not. We're angry at each other. We can't do anything. I mean, this is not the way to live. It's making people run. It's making people get frustrated. It's making people turn to a life of crime. I mean, your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you're fighting each other physically. I mean, this is not what it's all about, people. I mean, everybody's mad. And a lot of people can't understand why. I mean, I let this guy through and had an argument with him, and I just realized that was O.J. Simpson. So I got a little nervous. I said, hey, man, just go through the gate. Do whatever you want. I mean, people are screaming. Screaming at these Zooms. I mean, people are tired of these Zooms, so they're just going nuts looking at their computer. I mean, this guy here, when I go to sleep, this is who I dream about every day. I mean, what kind of sign is that telling me? How my life's going to be if you're dreaming about Jason every day? I mean, it is tough out there, folks. I mean, you got road rage left and right. I mean, everybody's pointing. They're angry because you cut them off. I mean... You even having people shoot at you. And when this guy's shooting at you, you know you're in trouble. I mean, it's a mad world. I mean, starting from the military when my Sergeant Slaughter used to yell at me every day. I'm so sick of people yelling at me. I mean, leave me alone. Even Sergeant Hawker, as crazy as he was, he yelled at me. I mean, this just ain't right, people. I mean, everybody's looking like a Looney Tune. I mean, and then when the man tells you, hey, you know what, I'm married. I like you, though, but I'm married. I, I, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I mean, she's pissed. She gets up and leaves. She don't want to be dealing with no married men. I mean, times are hard. You're getting your boss telling you to get the hell out of his office. I mean, no one wants to be living like this. This is why everybody's mad. I mean, it, it, it's like you want to blow your top. I mean, you're tired of society. I mean, everybody just seems like they're crazy. They're losing their nerve. I mean, what can we do about this? I mean, I feel like the tall man sometimes. Sometimes I want to get one of those iron balls and just bust them upside somebody, somebody's head. Or I just want to tell one of them guys, hey, you're an idiot. Like the tall man used to do. Just grab him right by the shoulder. And say, get out of here. I mean, that's my anger towards society sometimes. 
but you know what? Uh, when you turn into Linda Blair, you know you got it bad. I mean, this dude scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. I mean, when you get like this, you're in trouble. Because you turn into a life of crime. You're pulling up, you carjacking people. I mean, robberies everywhere running rapid. Imagine at the light, you see this guy. I mean, it's getting bad out there, folks. I mean, crime is everywhere. I'm driving, I'm seeing people with three sisters with guns like they just robbed the bank. I mean, people are going mad. I mean, little kids just put it up to you, shoot at you because you cut them off because you got a faster car than them. I mean, what is going on? I mean, violent protests everywhere. Every time I turn on the TV, somebody's throwing a rock or egg at the cops. So, I mean, what do we do in this situation? I mean, we're fighting the cops. The cops are killing us. I mean, what's going on? I mean, are these the last days? I'm sorry to say. I mean, when we start fighting each other, fighting the cops, fighting each other, the cops shooting us every day. I mean, this is letting me know that we're in the last days. Everybody's going mad. They talk about it in Revelation. I mean, so what do we do about this? Do we vote? Will vote change? I mean, because we're already depressed because it seems like we're burying somebody every week from COVID-19. I mean, I'd have been to five funerals already within the past six months. This is not the way to live. This is a sad life. I mean, it's a sad life when you're going to a funeral every week. And most of us are doing that. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the only thing I can tell you is just that we got to keep our head up. When we try to pet our favorite dog, we get bit. Even the dogs are turning against us. That, that's a sign right there. Of some kind of thermal thing going on here. We're getting bit in the butt. I mean, we're walking and dogs are just attacking us. People, we're in the last days here. And I'm sorry to tell you. But I think it's this guy's fault. Dr. Fauci, let's blame him. Or his buddy, Trump. But you know what? Trump is looking at Fauci crazy too. I don't know who to blame. Do we vote? Is there somebody better than Trump out there? I mean, what do we do? Hey, I guess we got to go vote. That's the next step. But do we vote a guy in that possibly can be worse than Trump? Think about that. Think about it. I mean, we're so quick to get rid of Trump, but is the next guy better? I mean, it makes you want to scream. It makes you grow an afro. I mean, because we're so stressed and worried. But you know what? Look at my next video. Because the subject I'm talking about in my next video is going to really make you see the light. Bye-bye.